issue that we're working on, not only to stop child sex trafficking, human trafficking, but also to prevent the poison of 300 Americans a day. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you. Gentle lady yields. I now recognize uh, Mr. Garcia for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just want to also just uh, to be clear, just to review for, for the hearing, uh, Democrats want to solve drug trafficking. We want to solve uh, human trafficking and certainly want to solve any sort of arms trafficking which funds the cartels. What we don't want uh, and what some on this, on this committee are hell-bent on doing is we don't want to demonize or scapegoat immigrants, refugees, and people that need the most help. We're interested in real solutions, not going along with Republican attacks and the crusade to launch fake impeachments of Secretary Mayorkas for political gain. Now, I do have a, a, I want to start with a question. Now, less than a year after the Tree of Life massacre in Pittsburgh, which we know killed 11 worshipers, a terrorist shot up a Walmart in El Paso, killing 23 people. Like the Tree of Life shooter before him, the murderer in El Paso believed he was fighting in a war to end, quote, Hispanic invasion of Texas. So, Mr. Jones, yes or no, is there an invasion of Texas at the southern border by immigrants? No, sir, we are now in a new phase. We are a nation overrun. To a nation overrun, not, not, no longer an invasion. You don't, you don't believe there's an invasion I, I, going I'm on? I'm saying we're even beyond an invasion. Okay, because you, you yourself, sir, have, have on, on Twitter and on numerous occasions said that, the, that there is actually an invasion that's being caused by the U.S. government, similar to the same words that have been said in, these, in this horrific shooting. And so I just want to know that words actually cause impacts and um, can be quite dangerous uh, here and across, across the country. Our country needs responsible leadership. It needs border security. Of course, Democrats agree with that. And I also want to know, just to clarify the record, that more than 90% of hard drugs such as fentanyl enter the U.S. through legal crossings at ports of entry, which continue to be forgotten over and over again. Democrats have increased funding for ports of entry in the government fund funding package last year, which Republicans, of course, overwhelmingly oppose. And so we keep hearing over and over again solutions that are not serious, which is why we never seem to discuss treatment programs here in this committee. There's no answers to how to improve access to health care or tackle the mental health crisis that's happening in our country. We just keep having the same Groundhog Day hearing over and over again, blaming migrants for a drug crisis that continues uh, to be replay itself hearing after hearing. Uh, I want to just, just real quickly just go down uh, the list and ask each of you yes or no, uh, yes or no for each of you. Um, Yes or no, solving the fentanyl crisis must involve addressing not only the supply, but also the demand that's coming from the United States. Mr. Jones, is that correct? It is, and also we have to remember where the demand is being. So yeah, just a yes or no, from. so yes. Thank well, you, it's, sir. It's, you have to remember what the cartels have done now. Sir, this is my time. I just, I just asked you for a yes or no. Yes. Thank you. Um, Ms. Vaughn, is that correct? Well, when a do, do we also have, do we have to also just demand? Fentanyl be that they think is Adderall, I wouldn't call that displaying demand. So, so you would not agree that U.S. demand is not part of the fentanyl crisis? No, um, I think it is part of it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Maltz? Absolutely, demand is a disaster right now. Thank you. And Ms. Falal Brown? Yes. Thank you. Uh, second question, just a yes or no, please. Mr. Jones, have you ever received a direct order from the president to stand down or open the border? Have I received a direct order yes. from the president to stand down on the border? Yes. No, sir. Thank you. Mr. Maltz, have, have you? No. Uh, Ms. Vaughn, are you aware of any such orders that have ever happened? Am I aware of? Of orders directly from the president no, to stand I down and, op and open the border? Ms. Vallal Brown, have you ever heard of that? No. Thank you very much. Uh, also want to uh, just real briefly ask you about some of the border policies, though, that have been proposed by some of my friends on this committee and on the other side. Ms. Falal Brown, do you think it'd be a good idea to build a water-filled trench with alligators along the border? Would that be helpful in stopping the border crisis? No. Nope. nope, interesting. Um, do you think that if we shot migrants in the legs and stopped them from coming over, do you think that would be helpful? No. Nope. So those policies were actually proposed by former President Donald Trump, just to be, just to be very clear. Um, like, like members of this committee, I am very concerned that we continue to have this hearing to essentially um, put down immigrants. I immigrated to this country when I was a young kid. I'm proud to be a very proud American that earned and gained my citizenship. And I hope that in future committees we could stop demonizing immigrants. With that, I yield back. Thank you. The gentleman yields. Uh, I now recognize.